What's up, you beautiful rocker fans out there? I hope you guys are having an amazing Wednesday. Spending time with your family, your friends. Or if you're just relaxing and chillaxing at home like I am, that's awesome too. Yesterday on Facebook, I said I was going to do a vlog, a video, about my journey to becoming Catholic. And so, let's get into this. So, five years ago, back in 2012, my brother-in-law asked me if I wanted to go to church. I said, "Yeah, sure." No, I've always been I've always been curious. I always had a curious mind. I'm always willing to try new things, and I gotta tell you guys, it changed my life for the better. Um, it really, truly changed my life for the for the better. Um, the very first time I stepped foot in this, my, my church, which is Mary Queen of the Rosary Parish, I felt God was present, and there wasn't one single mean person there. They were very welcoming, and I can just tell you right now, um, God was present that day, and he, he guided me back to his church, and he guided me right back to him. But I gotta thank my brother-in-law for that because without him, I don't think I would have done it. But anyway, and so I start going to it a lot every Sunday. Um, every Sunday is when I usually go, and it just, it just, it's just an overwhelming. It's a very uplifting and it's very spiritual because I knew that God, God had a plan for me, and He. He directed me right back to his church. He guided me right back to his church. And I thank God every day for that. So, I couldn't receive the Eucharist yet because I haven't got my, I wasn't baptized. That's a true story. At the time. I wasn't baptized. I didn't get my confirmation in my first communion. So then my brother-in-law tells me that they have a, uh, religious studies classes. This, this is in the fall of 2012. This is uh, September. It was a nine-month program. Uh, it was a religious studies class. Um, I learned so much uh, about God and the life path that you take. So, so pretty much, we're all searching for God, but we're not quite there. We're right in the middle, and I learned so much. Uh, and every, every stained glass uh, told you it was Jesus' crucifixion. And it has a story behind it. Every stained glass has a story. And, and I've learned so much uh, from doing that that I says, okay, God, God put, brought me here for a reason. There's a reason why God brought me here. And, um,. It was the best decision I ever made in my life. And I, I thank God, like I said earlier, that he guided me back to his church. And because it's always it's so full of love, that's all the masses are. And fall comes around, we start the classes. We went from September till the East Vigil, which is 2013. So 2013 hits, and it's March, and March 30th, I was gonna get baptized, get everything, and um, hold on, guys. I have to actually have my baptismal certificate somewhere. I don't remember exactly where it is at the moment. But, uh, it's somewhere. But, um, you get a baptismal certificate that says you complete, complete the course. And right when I got baptized, because uh, it was me and a girl named Jennifer at the time, we weren't baptized yet. And all friends, friends and family were present. All my friends, family and friends were present. And, um, 
Well, it's my turn. The grace of God was what I felt. I felt him because when when the priest in that very second put the holy water on my forehead like that, and he just and the holy. I baptize you with water of the holy sins and I baptize you with the water so that you could see it so that you could feel the presence of God and I really did when I got baptized. I felt the weight of sin that I've had carried for so many years is now gone. And there's a lot of stuff I did in my life that I was not proud of. I was too young to understand it, but um at that moment I knew God was very present. And I knew this is what I wanted to do, this is how what I want this is the religion I wanted to have. And So that happened, we had a little after party, and everybody said, uh, welcome to the church. I mean there was one like I said, there wasn't one me they just said welcome. They shook my hand and everything. This is like before all that. Actually, before that, we went to the cathedral in Worcester. It's right the next town over from me. Two towns over from me. Very, very beautiful church. It was a beautiful ceremony. We got the uh, uh, approval from the diocese of Worcester to get baptized and get our first communion uh, confirmation. And. I remember these words that Father Jim Boy said to me before we went into the cathedral and then was there. Um, he says, if you don't want to do this, he, I said, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. God will, God will understand. And I put my hand on Father Jim's, Father Jim's uh, shoulder. I says, I come this far, I can't get quit on God right now. I can't, I can't do it. I says, I, I, I can't quit now. I come, I come this far, I can't quit. And so, and then the Easter Vigil comes around. It was such a beautiful ceremony. It was fantastic. I loved it. I was so into it. Everybody thought it was boring, but I did not. I enjoyed every single second of it. Baptisms are pretty long, but it didn't bother me one bit. And um, I could just feel the Holy Spirit coming into my heart. That that for I, when I got baptized, I felt God's presence. I had I had I was wearing my tuxedo, as, as you're supposed to do. And I had this um this white like white thing. It was like a white garment, and it had a cross on it, both sides. It was red. Uh, I think my friend still has it. I think she might have took it with her when she <laughs> she moved out of out of here. But um, we'll get to that story later. Um, and um, it it changed my life for the better, guys. Um, God is very present. God is very real. Satan is very real. But we're all on this earth to make a choice. To worship the Father. Father of love, for uh, grace, merciful, or do I worship the wicked one? That's a choice that we're, we're everybody's struggling with today. I chose this. I chose this, uh, to worship God because He offers something greater than He does. He offers eternal life. To those who believe in His Son. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and believe it or not, guys, I wear this every single day to remind me what Jesus did for me, for my, for, so I could be forgiven for my sins. He died for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, and I always carry this with me to remind myself what He did for me, and it's also a protection against evil, evil in the world. We're living in very chaotic times, guys. Uh, there's too many, too much war, death, destruction, and it's too much hatred and violence. Especially here in the country, because 
We have, I support my president. I support President Trump. People could have different views. You know? That's just how it is. You're, you're entitled to have your own opinion. I support him 100%. I, I think he's doing a fantastic job of what he's doing right now. A lot of people are going to disagree with this, but he's done so much for the country already. He's created 2 million jobs in 6 months. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let that go for now. i got to let that go. So, I support my president 100%. Anyway. But God is very present, guys. He's very real. And then all this. He will never abandon you or forsake you. Jesus said, Love God with all your heart. Most of all, those who believeth in me shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Isn't that the most wonderful message? And fear not, for I am coming soon. I will come back for you. But I must go to the Father to prepare a place for you. And for many who believe in my, me and my Father. Where I'm going, you can't go yet. It's not yet your time. Those are the words of Jesus before he's ascended into heaven. So I thank God every day that he's very present, he's very real. Most of all, you guys need to make a choice in your life right now, right now. To worship God, the God of love, merciful, full of grace, and love, and truth. Or do you want to worship the wicked one? You need to ask yourself this question. I chose to worship God because he offers something way greater that is beyond human understanding. Anyway guys, uh, if you guys want me to do more stories like this, let me know in the comments section below. I figure I'd share that story with you guys since I haven't yet. Or maybe I have, I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. You guys mean so much to me. Let's get up to 400 subscribers guys. You guys are doing awesome. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Love you guys to death. Remember what does Mr. Rocket say? You guys are unique, you're beautiful, you're awesome, and don't, be, don't let anybody tell you different. Thanks be to God.